so good. Good morning, I guess, Graham Lorraine. This is me on site, uh, Friday 20th March. So just get a look around. I'm starting here in the top floor because John and I have just been through and finished up here. So, uh, so I am now currently standing where the stair will be, looking towards the south into the bedroom with the three single beds. Uh, so you can see it's being sheeted towards the front of the building. Um, John did point out these, this roof is quite distorted across its length, so this point here is not going to be a perfectly straight line. It's the sort of thing, just at the end of the day, you might notice it ever so slightly, but it's, it's just a symptom of working in such a distorted older building. Um, you'll see on this side, uh, you've got the plasterboard coming through, obviously the roof light, and then this wall and this wall are so out of alignment that the guys have had to build secondary framing in here. Um, again, this is really just extra bits and bobs that John's catching for you as he goes. Uh, but I suppose just to be aware, there's the work adds up in all these little bits, you know. Um, so this is me in the, the space where the stairs are going to be. Obviously the flooring's in at the moment, mostly just to keep it as safe as possible. Um, that's down into the bathroom in the front, you can see there. Again, I don't think uh, up here on the ceiling was sheeted last time. John's obviously started boxing out. Uh, the Velux here, that's above where the new stairs going to go. Um, so we've got a, a tapered bit of ceiling coming back, so they'll be, they'll taper up and then you'll have the roof light and flat ceiling either side. So then through into the upstairs bathroom. Good bit of headroom here. Um, I am currently in the roof light at the bath with a hard hat on and that's um my shoulders touching the bottom of the window and i can still stand totally vertical so i think there's good space for the bath actually probably better than we thought and there's also the headroom feels really quite nice in here i got my hand fully extended and i'm just brushing the ceiling in here so that's quite good uh moisture board on here into the front room um, you can see again here we have the existing roof and how it's having to be sweetened out you've actually got this is packed out by 50 mil on this side and nothing on that side just to keep it square um, but that's John bringing up that level like we spoke about last time creating that little recess nook in there we spoke about um, obviously stunning out through the windows uh, on a day like this uh, you can see all the way down so really cool uh, it's a definite selling point uh, this is going to be a really nice photo opportunity actually at about I would just say 11, half 11 in the day when the sun's moved around a little bit. But you get some amazing views out of the glass, out of the windows, sorry. Uh, so John's also trying to finish this kind of corner for you so that we can sort of crop a nice photo, maybe showing both windows, the V-Lox, and maybe we can fake a little bit of flooring in just the foreground or something. It's amazing what we can do on Photoshop. Um, so that is second floor uh, I'll just if you can bear with me a second I'll just go down the ladder and we'll go down the lower floors so. coming down the stair so this is me on first floor so if we start with the front southern bedroom, uh, again the sunlight coming in here is lovely. Probably it, this room's probably good for kind of yeah half nine in the morning shot with the sun kind of coming across the room. 
uh, I think you might end up with this room finished before upstairs. So this room, now it's been the ceilings in and uh, some of the plasterboard's going up. It's, this is a really nice room size actually. It feels, this feels really big, really nice. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to seeing this one finished actually. There's something nice about that little taper on the roof. It kind of softens the edge of the room a little bit. Uh, into the, uh, I guess we'll call it the master bathroom. Um, there's been quite a bit of work sort of shoring all this existing timber work up. There's some joist repairs required up there still to be done. John's aware of that though. Um, we have a little issue here with the difference between floor levels. Uh, so that's the existing floor and it's probably about 15 mil lower than these floorboards. Um, let me see that a little bit. So, it's just an existing condition we have to think of some way to resolve actually. Uh, I think probably going to make more sense just to lift this bit of floor up and try and lower it a little bit or cut some bits out of the, the joists to try and set it down a little bit lower. Something I'm discussing with John at the moment. Um, these first look at some of these windows, these are the two for this room. Um, so I think this is sort of one or two things on the windows probably worth pointing out. Uh, there's sort of broadly a few little marks across some of them where the nails have gone in. So John needs to go around and really fill all of those. Um, I think there's a few things maybe to talk about on the phone as well about just sort of quality and issues and things like that. Um, mostly though, the, probably the biggest issue is that the windows themselves come with a, a secondary sill which fits on underneath the window. So if you can see at the bottom of this one, this is the, what we would call the first sill, which is sort of like you would think of a sill, it tapers down and there's a little drip. There's another sub sill we call it, which goes, should look the same as this, but goes underneath. So they've sent something slightly different, which is just a block of wood. And I'll show you when we get downstairs, but it doesn't have the taper to the outside. It seems very strange. Um, and there's, there's one or two other small issues I'll come on to. Um, just into this back bedroom. Um, Plasterboard, the plaster and lath and plasters come off this side because it was so kind of squint and ruined that John felt it was easier just to take it down. Um, we've got this small bathroom here. Guys are drilling out the cores for the extract ducts in there. Um, uh, yeah, just keep going around. I don't think the ceiling was up last time you were here, so again, it's all bits of progress. So if you do end up coming up yourselves, you need to be careful, there's a lot of holes in the floor. Um, but it does let you see all the the plumbing and pipe work that's gone in. So you can see that it's going up into the bathroom over there. So quite a bit, you know. Uh, just look up above, I think probably most of the steel work is the way it was when you were last here. I don't think there's much of a change to that. Um, we just come into this main bedroom number two. Again, nice with the sun coming across the room. We've got the windows. Uh, and just to sort of give you a close up on the detail. This piece here is actually what goes on the inside uh, to hold the inner window in. Uh, there's ones downstairs which are a little bit easier to film and show you, so we'll, we'll go into them in a second. Um, again, John's, this is uh, timber battering that's been used to, to level out the ceilings. Um, I think that's all as we, we left at, la at the last meeting. Uh, we've got this wall and the stairwell is a bit rough looking so we might have to plaster over that or sheet over that 
it's quite squint there's a little bit of spare space here in the stair design so um, just something to be aware of and we just come through into sort of the, the mid middle bedroom uh, again plasterboard in don't know that there's much change from from last time here no I think it's probably all as you saw last time going through that back bedroom uh, again window in this room for this room so I don't think there's much more to look at on the first floor so we'll just go down to ground floor and you can sort of see uh, this the lath and plaster has been taken off this wall and completely now on the side of the stair um, to give you well, easier access for the pipe work as well you can see you're going to have your two little shut off valves accessible from the room on the other side there um, just try and get a, a sort of shot back of this space because it's quite good uh, you can really see the light coming through it's really nice so we'll just go down down to the ground floor um, in the kitchen dining space you'll see what most of what's happened is that the ceiling battens have been sort of leveled and squared up you can probably see that at the top of that window the bow and bottom piece was the original ceiling level and the gap is how much it's been straightened up by so hopefully you can it's quite a bit um, so that's good progress so that will be being plasterboarded pretty soon um, <coughs> uh, these are the doors let me just come back and give you try and give you a look at these so these are the fixed panes for either side of it it's, I just need to check this wasn't in, I don't want to check this is correct because this this bottom piece appears to be a fixed opening window which is fitted into the frame I just want to check that's what we had intended there um, the colour's nice um, I think what I think I'll probably just it's best just to have a wee chat I think maybe about about these windows and, uh, and just see so there's some sort of shim here of cardboard uh, I think yeah I'll talk to you about these uh, See if there's more here. There's a couple of little bits sort of internally where just it hadn't sort of been done as good as it could have been, I think, is probably the best way to describe it. Uh, this is the inside obviously of the door. Uh, let's go through and look at the other windows. So obviously the glazed panels have been taken out of them to fit them. This is what happens because there's too much weight obviously to lift the whole thing in one shot. Uh, um, so how that happens is uh, John has to take these beads off to take these window panes out and you can see the, these beads are just sitting in there at the moment so you have to go around and nail all these into place with a nail gun once they're done, so there's quite a bit of fitting work for John to all of these uh, I think it's just something to be aware of but the sill issue, so these are what has come with the window that's it on section this is the outside, this is the top, this is the bottom this is the inside so if, if you imagine we're looking at the bottom of a window here it would look exactly the same as this, just a solid piece of wood 
this sets like this. Now this portion here, in my view, should have a taper cut off of it to allow the rain to drain out to the bottom of the window. This is just a block of 3 by 1 inch or 4 by 1 inch timber with a groove cut in the bottom of it. So I would, I think I would like you to raise, or we need to raise why there's not a chamfer on this subsill, it's called. Um, because rain and things will drive in that gap otherwise. So I think there's a secondary sort of connected issue to that in terms of missing parts, which is when we connect these dead panels, fixed panels, to the door panel, John has been asked just to screw these together and put a bead of silicon down the outside. That's not acceptable either. It should have a timber cover piece, something akin to this, which goes on the outside to connect these to stop the rain going through. John tells me he's spoken to the window supplier and they just say we don't do something like that. So all in I think they need their cages rattled a wee bit to start supplying these things. Possibly replace, I think probably replace the cells, the sub cells and provide us with these additional cover plates. Um, it's particularly on the south and uh, east elevation actually on the front because they're so exposed. I just don't want to be relying on bits of silicon. Um, yeah. So, and you've paid quite a lot for them, so I think, yeah. But I'll speak to you about this more, I think, when we, we catch up on the phone. Um, so, just through to the games room. Uh, John and I had a good look at this floor this morning uh, and obviously we're not putting on the floor heating in here the big part of the, well the main reason for that was to keep the costs down this portion of the floor closest to the living room on that side is actually quite good once we get over where the old stair was and these old these old walls here it starts to all get a bit of a mess so what sort of discussed with John is to well give us a price for breaking out this bit of hearth here taking down the tops of these walls a little bit and actually reflooring the back half of this room to try and reduce the cost of how much we're doing in here in the floor now, I think it's probably the most sensible way forward for that uh, so we'll just come out round the back uh, just, I don't think there's really anything to report on the extension at the moment. Uh, I'll just go around the building on the outside. Uh, we can see the roof trusses are up. I don't think we've got to the back. I don't know. I can't remember if we saw those last time I was here with you or not. Let me just see if we can get a bit of a better view. So we'll go up the hill a little bit more. You can see there's still quite a lot of water coming down. Let's drain up the hill here. I think that's probably a good view to see everything. What's going on? Come back and get you, go around and get you some photos. Uh, just come down here. Let me get your view over here. So yeah, no windows fitted unfortunately, um, I know you were really keen to see them, see them done. Just 
back around this side. Same comments from John though. Um, just uh, he's busy enough for the next week or so. He's got loads to do on site. He's got a couple of guys isolating, but uh, he still needs his information in you know, a week or so. Uh, it's your portable species container. Really missed that. Still to be assembled. Uh, yeah, so I think that's probably probably everything for the video. Um, usual sort of things. I think uh, I need to get these bathrooms out to you. It's been a bit of a hectic week to be a company owner, so we'll get back to a bit more normality next week. Uh, yeah, I'll go around now, take some photographs, see if I can catch some nice sunny ones, and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you shortly, so cheers, bye.